Being in Ellis Square in downtown Savannah, the FBI now offering a $10,000 reward for any information leading to the arrest and the shooting that injured 11 people. One man, William Mitchell, was arrested Wednesday, but law enforcement says more arrests are likely to come. The FBI also setting up a digital media tip line asking for any video or other recordings that you may have from around the time of the shooting. You can give that information anonymously. You can find the links with this story on WTOC.com. As the Savannah Police Department and the FBI continue their search for more suspects from Saturday night shooting in Ellis Square, we're learning from doctors who helped to treat those who were injured. 11 people were taken to Memorial's Trauma Center following the shooting, 10 of those with gunshot wounds. Arana Stansfield spoke with the Trauma Center's director today. Well, Mike, Memorial is home to a level one trauma center, meaning doctors there can provide trauma patients with the highest level of care, all because of the resources and staff they have on hand 24 seven. Some of those resources include a dedicated operating room that stands ready whenever someone needs to be transferred in with crews always waiting on standby to jump in. They also have a large blood bank with a process in place that allows doctors to get blood to patients bedsides within seconds. Kids. On top of that, doctors have access to any equipment they may need, like blood and bed warmers, things that may seem small but can increase the chances of patient survival. When something like a mass casualty, what they call, happens, the center also has a plan in place to call in additional resources, something they didn't need to do last weekend because of all of their preparation. Most centers probably if they had 11 patients come in all at once, they would have to initiate a mass casualty. We are set up and, and our process is set up such that we didn't feel like we needed to do that. We can take care of a very sick patient and stabilize them very quickly and that allowed us to handle 11 patients. Well, today I also had the chance to speak with some of those first responders out there responding to that situation on Saturday about what their preparation looks like for incidents like that, along with their priorities when they arrive to such a large scene. I'll have that in a story I'm working on coming up on the news at six. Mike. All right. Thank you. Anna. We'll still head on.